Blessings, um, you know, all that other good stuff, man. Shout out to the 12, shout out to Shootout, shout out to Priest, Jen, Chief, helping me bring this vision to come to pass. Shout out to the Brook for welcoming your brother here to do the whole thing. Hey, man. Um, it's a beautiful event, man. It's a beautiful by way thing going on. From, the, from New Orleans? That's right. By way of Houston, Texas. By way of Houston, but Texas. But looking real New Yorkish that's right, right now. That's right, that's right. You know, I got the New York book. Let's start a yeah. package. Let's we got to start, start a, a pack. pack. Oh, we got we to run down you the know, pack, man. We got to start. Let's start the pack. Let's start the pack. Well, let's start here first. We want to start with the butters. There you go right there. You got to start with them right there. You yeah, understand? You start with that. That's a good way to start you know? with them. Well, you gotta start off with the butters. Not tie tight. You don't wanna do that. That's your first mistake. You wanna lose them. Slipping it out of them joints. We got the blue joints. No friends check if you was just looking for it. I know somebody out there looking for it. They're gonna see everything else but this. So I'm gonna show you that first, you know what I'm saying? But then, then we got the cool G top, you know. We got the cool G top, you know. Uh, we got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You understand? A little bit of that. A little bit of this, you know. Um, Got to make sure we looking presentable for the video. You understand? You good, man. Come through. Yeah, man. Got to make sure we looking presentable you for the video. You topped it off correct, though, bro, because, you know, some people would have came to New York and wore a Mets hat, man. But you didn't do that. No, nah, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't yeah, violate. Like, I wouldn't that violate. That would have been out of order. They told, me, they told me I can't wear Mets hats outside of Queens. That's no, what no, they said that's, to that's, me, that's man. That's correct. <laughs> that's what they said. So, that's correct. You know, uh, you know, I... I paid that much of attention to it, man. But um, so talk to us, man. How long? How long has this been in the works? Uh, this project that you this got going project, on? the record or uh, the video, this right here. Everything. Well, however you want to break it down, another one. <sighs> man, so the 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 actual the actual project's been in place, been in the works for about the last five months. For about the last five months, we've been working on it. Y'all, we in the bodega, y'all. Just understand, this is New York for real. Yeah. So you understand when the doors opening and the breeze be blowing. Yeah, we in the bodega, New York. Go ahead, bro. So talk about the car. And I'm on a chip aisle. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Um, with that being said, man, um, project been out about. We've been working on the project the last couple months after darker days, brighter nights. If you hadn't heard that, please go check that out. Stream that. It's out on all platforms. Um, but since then, I was looking to drop one more before the end of the year. Center in the Saint. That's the new album coming soon. The lead off single on Center in the Saint. It's going to be bruised at the Barclays. You know, I wanted to honor the elders, and I wanted to honor the elders, you know, where it all started, but particularly in Brooklyn, you know. Why Brooklyn? I don't know, man. It's just, it's, it, it's a lot attached to it. I know a lot of brothers in the borough, so it made sense for me to do it there. Are you good, sis? Come through. You good? Yes, you so good. Uh, so it made sense for me to come through and do it over here, man. You know, aside from, you know, I uh, just want to shout out and commemorate the brothers who've been doing it for a long time, man. So, and um, with that being said, I got blessed by the priest, yours truly, behind the You know the how I know you right got now. real pull, man? Because you got I the got general no down there. That's how. The general's down there, man. When Hashar come out, you know you got, you got some pull, man. The general right there, man. You, the angels is on your side and everything, man. When the general comes out, man, you know, you, 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 you know. You can't be sucker free. You can't, yeah. I mean, you can't be a sucker with the general on your joint, man. You That's can't, right. you gotta That's be right. sucker free. You know, you gotta be sucker free. You know, but, um. Listen, all, this is New York, bro. It's okay to cut up, cut in, man. All, it's all, all good. All praises for yeah. you. All praises, man. Uh, we got general. We got priest. We got chief, wherever he's at right now. And uh, we gonna rock out, man. We gonna make a work of art. 
It's gonna be a beautiful thing, and man, hopefully y'all consume it. Now I want to talk about the video. Now. Yes, sir. Ready this when video. Says. This video. Y'all huh? wait on me. We ready when y'all. Oh, you ready when we ready? ready? Okay. Let me right there. So I want, I want, I want to talk about the um, the video, right? Now the brews at the Barclays. Well, wait, what is it? December? What? What is it right now? December third. December third. December third. December 3rd. December 3rd. Yeah. Now this video was supposed to be shot at the Barclays. Back in October, back in October, right? Most High saw fit for it to play out the way it did. Um, brothers then went out already to the Barclays. I don't want it to be any confusion. We're not riding on another brother's coat telling nothing like that. This has been in place. We're going out there to do uh, the Most High's work in, in all its facets, not just teach, but also show that solidarity amongst brothers. Scripture says um, it's a beautiful thing for brothers that dwell together in unity. So that's what we're going to do. Bruce at the ball, Clays. Peace to the 12. Shout out to Bag of Bees TV. Shout out to Priest Dad. You understand? Shout out to everybody who supported your brother. I look forward to continuing to hit y'all off more in the future. That being said. Get it. Yo, man, let me tell y'all something, man. My, my tribe, <laughs> my tribe is in effect. Real quick, man, my tribe is in effect from the tribe of Ephraim. My man, y'all, what's up? Shalom King, what's going on? Hey, man, y'all about to me on shot, bro. I could tell to the nation, man. Yeah, you can go. Kwame Asha'ala, man, we doing this video shoot with the with the elders, man, with the brothers, man. It's a beautiful thing. I had to pop out. Now, I got to show y'all, man, looking like a real Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Got the authentic, classic fringes. You know what I'm talking about on the seams and stuff like that. See, this is the reason. Let me tell y'all something. If y'all need a visual representation of the reason why I'm an Ephraimite, this is it right here, bro. Hey, damn right. This is it right, right. Here, man. You know what I'm talking about? Damn right. Who knows? We... We might get the kingdom and find out that is Ephraim. I don't know. You see that? We gonna find out, you man. See that? Praise <laughs> all praises. Oh, oh. 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 the the Hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. UrbanGorilla.com. That period. Period. You already know that. CZYN Network. All that. In all the building. That. Tap in. Right. You know what I'm That's talking right. about? Buggy. Of course, we got God First Gang in the building. Yes, man. God First Gang. That's man. right. All well, praise yeah. to the most high for that. Yes, sir. Most high. That's right. And of course, my man Gorilla don't go nowhere without the Sakari Soldiers. That's right. Uh, the sure, Sakari right. Soldiers is always so, on deck. Make sure y'all understand that. Yes, sir. We here, man. We doing our thing. Oh, man. Run the dial. Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. What's good? Listen, man. if y'all want to know why I feel safe right here, that's why I feel safe right here. We got y'all to sell. We're going to try to Hey, man. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Get the scene set up. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, I think us catching the scene with the train coming. Okay. You know why you yeah, waiting right here? Uh -huh. I think that's a good aesthetic. Okay. So whatever yeah. we got doing, we can catch you walking down the platform. Okay. You know, just catching some some dope shots, some okay. aesthetics. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm coming over here. Hold that first. What the fuck?
Deacon right here, nice uh, shot. Yeah, in the building, flying, shining as always. Nah, I yes, just sir. I'm coming. Yeah. All freezes, all freezes, all freezes. <laughs> Righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. So the Bible teaches that the law, statutes, and commandments was forever. Right? Read. And thy law is the truth. So the law is the truth. And it's important for us to actually go in to what's actually going to conquer this nation. It's us keeping the laws of God. We came, we saw, we conquered. Uh, give me 1st Ezra 4 38. What you got? 
This is the book of Sirach, chapter 19 and verse 19. Read it. Yeah. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. Is the what? Is the doctrine of life. You see that? The Bible teaches that the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. And this is our lives. We need to be yielding to this right now. Let's read this. Read uh, 1 Edges 4 and 38. 1 Edges chapter 4 verse 38. Read. As for the truth, uh -huh. it endureth. It what? It endureth. It lasts forever. The Most High God taught us from the gate we need to be keeping this truth, this doctrine of life that the Bible teaches forever. Read. And it's always strong. No, no, no. Just sometimes. And it's always strong. Read. It liveth and conquereth forevermore. It liveth and what? And conquereth forevermore. And that's how we're going to conquer this nation. That's right. We're in captivity right now. We have to conquer them by keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of God. Right. Give me uh, uh, 1 Chronicles 7 and 14. Uh, give me uh, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. You got it? Yeah. This is 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. Read. Yeah. If my people. If what? If my people. Oh, no, if everybody keep the law. If my people. Read. Which are called by my oh, name. Yeah. Read. Shall humble themselves. Shall humble themselves. Right? Because we're a very prideful people. We do our own self-willed things and we don't keep the law, statutes, and commandments of God. But if we will humble ourselves, we and pray uh -huh. and, and seek my face. Right? And seek his face. That's that saw. We came, we saw, we conquered. We must right. seek his face to conquer these people, we and turn from their wicked ways. And do what? And turn from their wicked ways. We out here teaching the people to keep the law, statutes, and commandments of God to turn from their wicked ways. Read. Then will I hear from heaven, uh huh, and will forgive their sin. And do what? And will forgive their sin. And what else? And will heal their land. See that? He will forgive his people and put us back where we belong. I pray you understand, my whole life, by your need. Come, come, come. All praises to the Most High. All praises. Honor and glory goes to the Most High. And you'll have to understand what it means that we are conquering in a spiritual way, right? From a spiritual perspective. Let me get a uh, second Edges chapter seven and start at verse 57, right? Second Edges chapter seven, verse 57, I wanna start out with. We gotta understand that we're conquerors through Christ, of course, but there's a battle that we're in. It's not over yet, right? We haven't conquered this nation as of yet, but through the spirit, we understand that we will. But it's a battle that we're in right now. And you're looking at so-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians. You're looking at those that are attempting to be the conquerors physically. But first, it has to happen spiritually. Let's read that. This is the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 7 and verse 57. No. Then answered he me and said, this is the condition of the battle. You see, what blacks and Hispanics don't understand is that you're actually in a battle. You're in a battle in this life. You're not just walking around and everything's good and everything's quote unquote kosher. You're in a battle. And these are the men that you see around you that understand that we're in that battle. That's what puts us in the position of a conqueror. Read. That which man that is born upon the earth shall fight. Read. That if he be overcome, he shall suffer as thou had said. Right, we understand that there's a consequence to losing this battle. So we have the conqueror's mentality. We're going to fight this battle. We're going to fight to the end. Read. But if he get the victory, if he what? But if he get the victory, he shall receive the thing that I say. He shall receive the thing which he says, which is what? The eternal life, which is the dominion, which is the rulership that we are all seeking after. Jump to verse 61. Verse 61. That there should not be such heaviness in their destruction as shall be joy over them that are persuaded to salvation. That are what? That are persuaded to salvation. That are what? That are persuaded to salvation. These so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that you see standing on this line and around you have been persuaded 
to salvation. We've been persuaded to salvation, and that's what makes us the conquerors here of these United States of America. We are persuaded that we will do whatever it takes to receive the salvation and the promise from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And that's what you other so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians that are not on this side have to understand. We are your leaders. We are your example that you must need follow to receive this salvation. We come out here to persuade men to salvation. Let me get that in Jeremiah 3 and 15. Let me get Jeremiah 3 and 15. You've been lied to. Propaganda has been ran on you. Game has been ran on you from the time you was born. You don't know what is going on, so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, woman, and child, and you looking at the men that do. You're looking at the conquerors amongst your people. Read. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3 and verse 15. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. I will do what? I will give you pastors according to my heart. And that's what you're looking at. You're looking at the pastors according to the heart of the Most High God. Read. Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. They're going to feed you with what? With knowledge and understanding. With knowledge and understanding. And what is that? What we just read in Sirach 19 and 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord. That is the doctrine of life. That will bring our people the end of our captivity. Read that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you. For what? For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. Having what? Having great wrath. Why is that? Because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. He knows he has what? But he knoweth that he has but a short time. And we understand that, guess what? When we rise up, when we keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, as we begin to feed our people with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Most High God, the devil that the Bible speaks of, which is the so-called white man, is going to come down upon us with great wrath. That's what you're seeing with Kyrie Irving. That's what you're seeing with the brother Ye West, right? You're seeing the devil come down with great wrath because he knows he has a short time. He knows that the conquerors are now in conquering mode. And we're going to, Lord willing, stay in that mode and raise up and wake up our people to be in that same mindset as well. They have an understanding of that. They know that they have a short time. Let me get that in uh, editions of Esther chapter 13 and start at verse 3. Right? They have a full understanding. They know for thousands of years that this time was coming. That the time when so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Amer American men, women, and children were going to raise up and conquer. That's right. Read that. This is a this is of Esther chapter 13 and verse 3. Yeah. Now when I asked my counselors how this might be brought to pass, Haman that excelled in wisdom among us. Right. So that's your so-called Amalekite. Right? That's the so-called white man. That's the so-called Jewish man that you would see today. Right? He had an understanding of this. See what he said. Read. And was approved for his constant goodwill and steadfastly fidelity and had the honor of the second place in the kingdom. Right. So he's top in charge. Right? Right underneath the king. Read. Right? Declared unto us that in all nations throughout the world there was scattered a certain malicious people. There was what? There was scattered a certain malicious people. So called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians are that certain scattered malicious people. Let's see why we are malicious people. Go ahead. That had laws contrary to all nations. See that they had laws contrary to all the other nations. That's what they're afraid of. That's why we're demonized in the media. Because we have laws that are contrary to all the nations. We don't eat pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster. We don't believe in homosexuality. We don't believe in transgenderism. We don't believe in their wicked feast days. It's contrary to all their laws, and they have to try to stop that. Read. 
and continually despise the commandments of kings. Because we don't give a damn what the laws in the book say. We're going to follow your high boss, Shem Yahweh Shah. Right. We, so as the uniting of our kingdoms honorably intended by us cannot go forward. Cannot what? Cannot go forward. So they understand good and well what it's like when the conquerors rise up. When we're keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments of our God, their kingdom cannot go forward. Their one world government plan cannot go forward. It cannot progress. And so what they have to do is they have to come down with great wrath. They have to come down and try to instill fear upon our people. But guess what? The conquerors are here. And we was, we are not afraid. We will not be afraid because the Most High have not given us the spirit of fear, but of power of love and a sound mind to teach our people the ways of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Right? Keep reading on that. Is there more of that? Is there more of that? Be good. Come on, let's go to Revelation 11 11. Revelation 11, verse 11. Come, read up. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered into them. That's what's going on right now. The spirit of God is entering into so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians all over this earth. And that's what they're afraid of. Read. And they stood upon their feet. And they what? And they stood upon their feet. We are standing upon our feet in the face of those that have afflicted us. We and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Right. And great fear fell upon them. And great fear is upon them. And guess what they're going to continue to do? They're going to continue to come down upon us like with great wrath. And guess what? We got to understand that this is the beginning of that. This isn't the end. This is not the worst of what you're going to see. Kyrie Irving losing a couple million dollars. Uh, what? Ye losing a couple billion dollars. That's the beginning of the great wrath. Right. Y'all haven't seen nothing yet, right? But we have to stay in this mentality. We have to stay in the mentality that we are going to overcome the world by keeping the commandments of God. Notice I didn't say anything about picking up sticks, stones, gats, bombs. I didn't say nothing about that. Right. Because guess what? The time's going to come when Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, he'll take care of that part. Right. Our job is to keep the commandments of the Most High with faith in his son. And that's what we're going to do to the death of us, Lord willing. Right. Right. Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse 29. Then, Salakia, verse, verse 9. Oh, verse 9, Salakia. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. See, we understand although we're in a conquering mentality, some of us are going to be delivered up to be afflicted for what we're believing in, for what we're standing for. So for everybody that's getting this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, it's not a cakewalk. We're not telling you that as soon as you get this information, your life is automatically going to be better. We're not telling you that. It's going to get a whole lot worse before it gets better. Read. And shall kill you. And shall what? And shall kill you. Some of us have to be martyred for Hamashiach Yahweh Some of us do. But guess what? We still are overcoming through the word of his testimony by keeping the law, statutes, and commandments and faith until the end. And that's just a reality check. That's a reality check for every so called black, Hispanic, and Native Indian in this truth. We're going to have to go through hell for what we're doing. That's why this time right here is the most enjoyable time that you're going to have as an Israelite. Make sure y'all understand that. Make sure y'all cherish this moment. Relish this moment. Right? That's why we have to come together in the spirit of unity. We have to come together understanding that what? This is going to be some of the last good times that we have as time continues to progress. Okay? So I want to make sure that we instill a good balance. We're conquering, we're in the mentality of conquering because of how we're living, but we also have to be prepared to suffer as well. That's right. right? Jump down to, I want you to jump down to verse, brother gave me the time mark of verse 14, Baba Kasha. 14. Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. For a what? For a witness unto all nations. See, the conquerors are preaching this gospel to the ends of the earth for a witness unto all nations. And then what? 
And then shall the end come. And then shall the end come. All praises to the Most High. I'm going to pass it to the next mighty speaker. That's right. Yes, yes. All right, give a hand for them brothers, man. Tabernacles of David, all praises. Give a hand to the Lord and a middle finger to Esau. All right, let's get this topic. All right, let's get uh, uh, the book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 35. Let's start right there. All right, you get Proverbs chapter 5 and verse 15. Read that first. Psalms 37 and verse 35. <clears throat> Read. Book of Psalms, chapter 37 and verse 35. Wow. I have seen the wicked in great power. See, in today's time, we see the wicked in great power, man. This is why we see homosexuality running rampant. This is why we see uh, a bunch of Christian churches right next to a liquor store, a crack house, so on and so forth. This is why you see Muslims banging their head on the floor five times a day. Because the wicked is set in great power. Read it again from the top. I have seen the wicked in great power. See, we've seen the wicked in great power, man. But guess what? That time is coming to an end. Because when we begin to rise, they begin to fall. You understand? And I say this week in and week out. They're not scared of a black and Hispanic with a gun. They're not scared of a black and Hispanic with a hundred with a hundred damn people marching with all these ratchets and bombs. And listen, they got tanks, brother. They got guns that we can't even fathom. They probably got lasers from a damn satellite or whatever the hell. You understand? That's the type of shit they got. You know what they scared of? When we keep God's commandments. You want to know what they scared of? When we serve our God. They terrified of that. Read it again for the top. I have seen the wicked in great power. Go ahead. And spreading himself like a green bay tree. And spreading himself like a green bay tree, man. He's overshadowing all of us with all of his damn perversion that he puts in your media and on your TV screens and all this propaganda. Why do you think for years, what have they done? They continue to put Israelites in movies for what? It's called social engineering, man. It's called propaganda. Because they want you to think as soon as you see us, oh, those guys are crazy. Those guys are evil and wicked. No, we are the righteous of the earth. What is so bad about saying, don't murder, don't sell drugs, don't commit fornication. If you had sex with her, stay with her. What is so bad about that? But then they push what? What do they push? Homosexuality. What do they push? Weed is legal now. What do they push? Just pop a couple pills if you're in some pain. Just go to the liquor store if you're a little sorrow. That's what they push, man, because they want us to be dumb and docile. You understand that? Read that. It's the book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 14. That we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of doctrine. You see, the Lord is telling us not to be tossed to and fro with all these winds of doctrine, man. You understand? What you're listening to is the sound doctrine of the Lord. Because we are not teaching anything. All we're doing is reading. That's all we do. We read the Bible. We tell you what the Bible's saying. And we go on about our day, man. This is the sound doctrine of God. This is what is breathing life back into the valley of dry bones, man. This is what's waking up the dead across the earth. The Christians be like, you ain't laying on hands and raising up the dead. What is this then? What is this? We are raising up the dead. You understand that? Because we were once all dead. How? In our sins, man. You understand that? Read it again for the top. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 4, 14. That we henceforth be no more children. Tossed to and fro. And carried about with every wind of doctrine. By the slight of men. By the what? By the slight of men. By the slight of men, man. Yo, it's okay to hit a little blunt, brother. You see, the Bible has been tampered with. You see, we pray to Allah and Muhammad. You see, them dudes just full of hate, man, you know? You know, just come over here. You know, we, we're teaching the true gospel. It's the slight of men, man. It sounds good to the ears. You know, it's smooth words. Doesn't it say that in the scriptures? Prophesy unto me smooth words. Nah, man. We ain't doing that up here. We, we quick, direct, 
and we're gonna read the Bible whether you like it, believe it, understand it or not. Read. And cunning craftiness. And cunning craftiness, man. Well, what, what's that damn dude, the Yaju, man? I don't know how, he gotta be doing some witchcraft or something. Cause every, I don't know what's going on with that. That's that cunning craftiness, man. Crafty with their words. You understand that? But those that departed from us were never with us. Read. Whereby they lie in wait to deceive. They lie in wait to deceive, man. Why do you think, why do you think, why do you think they're setting up people like Mo Cap below, man? Why do you think they're setting up people for what? To bring people away from the truth, man. The truth of this gospel. You understand that? But us up here, we're going to continue to teach that truth. Right, right, right. Keep right. Finish it up. Verse 15. Yeah. But speaking in truth, in love. Say it again. By speaking the truth in love. But we up here speak the truth in love. And sometimes love's going to be a little bit harsh. You understand? Sometimes love is going to come with a rebuke. Sometimes love is going to be in a council that you just might cry. Finish it up. They grow up into him in all things. Now read that. Read that, Halal. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 15. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Three. 